It is Friday, January 25th. We welcome you to H.H. Dow High School. It is time for Saginaw Valley League Basketball on MPS TV as the Midland High Chemics make the short trip across Saginaw Road to take on the Dow High Chargers. It is the matchup number two between these two teams in the regular season. This one is for the Saginaw Valley. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper, and Tom, tonight we've got two teams that are in different goals for this part of the season. The Dow High Chargers under coach Kyle Tyson, they're coming in, only one loss on the season. This is a Charger team that expects to be playing basketball for a long time. The Midland High Chemics coming in under coach Jaden Klobes. This is a Midland High team that's just looking to improve from game to game to game. Yeah, and for, for Dow, they, they just want to continue to run their stuff. They've got some uh, real credible opponents down the road. Uh, Midland High is growing. Uh, this is a measuring stick every time that Midland High will play a real quality team like Dow. It's the Kimmicks and the Chargers in the second matchup between these two teams, and we are getting set for the starting lineups and our national anthem. In just a few moments, we will turn things over to our public address announcer. Here he is, Jason Jahofsky. <laughs> On behalf of Principal Dr. Steve Poole, Athletic Director John Streeter, the staff and student body, I would like to welcome you to H.H. Dow High School. Tonight, your charters host the Chemics of Midland High. At this moment, we would like to take this time to recognize and congratulate Molly Davis on scoring her 1,000th career. The 
starting lineup said we are set to go. High school basketball on MPS TV. A great crew of MCTV staff and volunteers on hand to bring you the action. And uh, before the game, Molly Davis uh, recognized for her joining the 1000 Career Point Club. That happened at a game recently at uh, Saginaw Arthur Hill. So this is the first home game that the Chargers have played since Molly Davis, uh, Davis achieved that feat. And Davis just continues to work her way up the uh, up the ladder when it comes to points here at Dow High. And that that program, that little uh, ceremony we had was well deserved. And uh, I think the fans here, uh, both Midland and Dow, appreciated the efforts that she has given to the sport in Midland. So here we go. The uh, well, the tip off ends up going uh, out of bounds. It will be uh, Dow High basketball as we are underway. Here tonight with the Chargers and the Kimmicks, the starting five for Dow High in their home white uniforms, Alexa Colnitis, Molly Davis, Maisie Taylor, Jada Gardner, and Alyssa Kepner. Midland High in their visiting blue uniforms, Olivia Carpenter, Jordan Phillips, Alyssa Critz, Sydney Schaefer, and Emma Reckaway starting for Midland High. Chargers with the basketball, Colnitis trying to work it inside. Del saw they lose the handle on it, last touched by the Chargers, so the Kimmicks forcing a turnover in the paint early on well it'll be interesting to see how midland tries to uh, establish themselves on the offensive side they struggled a great deal when they played the first time and i think that they're looking for a little more consistency in what they are are, are going to strive for during this game now the midland high chemics with only two wins on the season, but they're coming off a win, their last game against Saginaw, and a three-point shot taken from uh, Reckaway at the top of the key, no good. Davis will pull down the rebound for the Chargers. Davis, nice pass, kicks it out for a three-point attempt, count it. From the far side, the Dow High Chargers get the scoring started with Alexa Colnitis, she's a freshman, hitting the three-pointer. And she seemed real comfortable with that. Uh, she's growing a lot during the season. Carpenter works it out to Reckaway, and Reckaway is going to uh, travel as she tries to go inside. As mentioned, the Dow High Chargers only one loss on the season, but they do have a couple of big games, including a matchup with Saginaw Heritage right around the corner. Midland High has yet to face Heritage as well. And I think Midland High only plays Heritage once. I'm guessing Dow will play them twice. Davis working the basketball for the Chargers. Now out to Jada Gardner. Another three-point attempt. This one is no good. Gardner will get the rebound for the Chargers. Working it back to Cole Nidus again, and Cole Nidus can't get the shot to go. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to stay Dow High basketball. Cole Nidus looking good in the early going of this yeah. game. She's a, a freshman, and she's one of those players, Tom, that she'll, you'll see her in every corner of this basketball court. Well, she's very active, and uh, she's got some really good timing with some of her screens. Nice pass inside. The Chargers unable to convert. Just underway with high school basketball, Jason Harper, Tom Bell, and a great crew of staff and volunteers. Kepner using her size to her advantage. Five foot 11, she's a junior, able to get the bucket. The Chargers with a five point lead. Davis doing the defense down there, knocking the ball out of bounds. There's Jaden Klobes, he's the second year coach for the Midland High Chemics. Have had to deal with a couple of uh, unexpected adjustments, a couple of injuries, including Anna Tuck, who was out for the year with a knee injury, and Sydney Schaefer, who got the start for Midland High tonight. but. If not playing a full game. Molly Davis underneath, counts the bucket. Off of a turnover, Davis gets her first basket of the game. Chargers with a seven to nothing lead. For Davis, that layup is so pretty and so automatic. Long three-pointer by Phillips is no good. Chargers will get the rebound. Taylor trying to outlet it, and a rare turnover by Taylor goes into the arms of Jordan Phillips. Midland High gets it across midcourt. Olivia Carpenter. With the ball for Midland High over to Reckaway. Cross court working to Sydney Schaefer, just a sophomore. In fact, this is a very young Midland High team with only one senior on the team. Reckaway chases one down. Now Schaefer on the far side, being guarded by Cole Nidus. Dow High leading by seven. Kemmicks looking for their first basket of the game. Three minutes. 
into the contest, shot by Alyssa Critch. Long three-pointer hits the rim. And the Chargers will get the rebound. Cole Nidus will pull it down. Macy. Very good, very good by, box out by Cole, Cole Nidus on that rebound. I was impressed. Offense, defense, she's the MVP of the first couple of minutes of this game. Taylor's three-pointer is no good. Garner had the rebound. It was ripped away by Reckaway. And Reckaway looking to go coast to coast, but it's Cole Nidus that will steal the ball away from Reckaway. <laughs> There's that name again. Taylor drives in. Dishes out to Kepner, and Kepner with her second basket of the contest. Lays it off the glass, and the Dow High Chargers building a 9-0 lead. Chargers won the first meeting between these two teams, 70-33. It's a strong Charger team, as mentioned. Big goals, and you know they want to be playing down at Calvin College before this season is done. That's the goal of the Dow High Chargers. Of course, Saginaw Heritage may stand in their way. Molly Davis able to put the basket in, and the Chargers with a double-digit lead. Jaden Klobe is going to call a timeout. Well, Midland is, is not very settled on, on offense. Uh, you've noticed that most of their shots uh, are, are not very, very well uh, planned. I think that they could have better better releases they can move the ball try to even go to the basket and draw a foul that's a great way to, to to try to break this scoreless streak well you see Jaden Klobes talking to this young Midland High Kimmick team and you know Tom you, you've got a situation where you're just looking to improve and at times it's been an up and down season for Midland High they've dealt with some injuries they've dealt with some frustration levels and mm -hmm. you know they want to win but it's difficult this year. They're going through the uh, the so-called growing pains. As a coach, what do you do to keep that confidence level up? Uh, you just uh, ma make sure that, that you're getting better every single day in practice and in games. Um, oh, there's a uh, y y young mistake uh, waiting for the, the offense to kind of create something, and she traveled. But uh, they've got to realize where they are. And uh, they've got uh, their strength is with their sophomore class, and uh, their senior, their one senior, uh, p plays a little, but really doesn't contribute a lot uh, in games like this yet. But uh, yeah, they've got to uh, make sure that they continue to get better. Three-point shot, no good, and uh, we're going to have the first foul called in the contest. Jay Dawson and Maddie Lang have have checked into the game for the Midland High gimmicks. Looks like a couple of new faces on the floor for Dow High as well. Caitlin Murray and Karis Query are in the game for the Chargers. Three-pointer, the Kimmicks are on the board as Jordan Phillips, the junior, able to sink one in. Now that looked really good. That was a great release, a lot of confidence. Just under three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Molly Davis goes out, kicks it out again to the baseline, and a three-pointer reigns in. I think that was Caitlin Murray. It was. It was. Yep. Murray, just a sophomore, comes off the bench and picks up a three-pointer, and the Chargers have found a lot of success in that far corner on the baseline. They have built a 14-3 lead. That's right in front of the, the Midland fans, too. Nearly stolen away by Murray. So we saw some uh, great play by a freshman, Alexa cole and now we're seeing that play from Caitlin Murray, and that's something that Kyle Tyson wants to use to his advantage. Obviously, Molly Davis scores a lot of points. you got Maisie Taylor and Jada Garner, but almost every game, somebody else is stepping up for this Charger team. We've seen two players already in the first quarter step up for Dow High. And you have to build those people, too. You know, you just don't know what kind of foul trouble you're going to get into uh, when you're on that, that tournament trip and you got to ask these people to step into the game and be an important player. And he's getting a lot of support from players off the bench and all five on the floor. Olivia Carpenter, the sophomore, scores for the Chemex. Again, that baseline three-point range may be what the Chargers are looking for. Now Jada Gardner drives into the paint. Gardner can't get the shot to go. It's going to go out of bounds and be Midland High basketball. 145 to go here in the first quarter. Dow High leading 14 to 5. Chargers will bring Abby Ray into the game. She's a freshman. Has a little bit of size, comes in at 5'10. 
Well, I think it's nice that uh, uh, Kyle is playing an awful lot of people here in this first quarter. Uh, he realizes that uh, th this game, they, they match up very favorably to Midland, and uh, he wants to get a lot of people some quality playing time. Carpenter working with the basketball over to Phillips. Phillips will drive into the paint, double coverage, not gonna stop her. Phillips able to get the bucket to fall through for Midland High, cutting the deficit down to a touchdown with 1.15 to go here in the first quarter. Again, well, I thought we were gonna see another three-pointer from the baseline. Instead, they kick it out a little bit further and the three-pointer is no good. Kimmicks will come back the other direction. Phillips to Carpenter, those two are key leaders for this Midland High team. Drives in, loses the handle on it, but will get bailed oh, out with a foul. Okay. Yeah, so far I've been impressed with, uh, with Phillips. I think she's settled down. Uh, they really need her as a leader, as stability, since she has played quality minutes for the last two years uh, on varsity. Misses the free throw. Now High will bring Jada Garner back into the game. The foul, by the way, called on Query. Phillips and Carpenter are the two people to watch out for scoring points for Midland, but Phillips missing both of her free throws. Macy Taylor bringing the ball down. She looks to go coast to coast, and she does. Taylor has that uh, ability to know when to pass and when to keep, and she kept it that time, results in a basket. Yeah, and a lot of it had to do with her teammates really didn't hustle to get ahead of the ball, so she ran out of options and uh, contorted herself and made a nice kiss off the glass. 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Kimmix working the ball over to Maddie Lang. Lang picks up her dribble, finds Alyssa Critz, Jr. Critz has got a lot of ability. She's, like many of these Kimmicks, have been up and down throughout this year. Try to force the shot, that's not gonna happen. Taylor will bring the ball back the other direction. Five seconds on the clock, great pass from Taylor. They won't get the bucket, but they will go to the free throw line. Abby Ray will go to the free throw line, but Macy Taylor, we've talked about this a couple of times, Tom. She is one of the most selfless players on the floor. She knows when to pass, she's not afraid to pass the ball. She's not afraid to, to lead an assist. No. She doesn't have to have the points, and you you have to love that from a basketball player. Well, she's got a good feel for the game, and she sees the court so well that she can kind of uh, uh, draw the defense to her, and she can dump the ball off, and uh, her, her passing skills are really, really sharp. Abby Ray hits both of her free throws. The freshman getting the job done from the strike. Final seconds of the first quarter. And the Dow High Chargers building a 18 to seven lead over the Midland High Kimmicks. And uh, Tom, this is kind of what we expected uh, to see from the Dow High Chargers. As you look through the balloons at Kyle Tyson <laughs> talking to, uh, to his players, this is a Dow High Charger team that uh, they're just flat out good. Now, does, do these represent thoughts that Kyle has? Th that you know, could these be. little that balloons could be. up there? Okay. No, this is exactly what, what we expected. Uh, and, you know, mid middle high plays hard. You know, that's one thing you, you got to give them that, uh, and that's going to pay de dividends down the road. But currently right now, uh, D Dow High has the ultra skill players. They've got Molly Davis and M Maisie Taylor and a couple of other kids that uh, play real well. Uh, this basketball game produced by MCTV staff and volunteers. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, you can sign up to become an MCTV volunteer at our producer workshop. You'll learn how to be a producer, create a studio program, use professional video cameras, and edit using Final Cut Pro software. The cost is just $45, which includes the annual access user fee. For more information, call 837-3474. Sign up, become an MCTV volunteer. There's the phone number, 837-3474. You can check out the webpage on the City of Midland website. You can also check us out on Facebook as well. Okay, we got uh, a few stats real quick. Uh, Phillips is the leading uh, scorer for this game right now with five for Midland High. And both Mo Molly Davis and Kepner have four for Dow. Kimmix with the ball to start the second quarter. Jay Dawson, the freshman, freshman into the game, but Macy Taylor will steal that ball away. 
Taylor feeds it over to Query, and Query will get the bucket to fall in. Again, we talk about that passing ability and not afraid to give the ball up, giving Query the bucket that time down the court. Midland almost had the ball knocked away, saved by Maddie Lang. Lang will go out to Carpenter. Carpenter takes a couple of dribbles and a miscommunication there. The ball goes out of bounds, but it will stay Midland High basketball. Yeah. Kimmix will bring Emma Reckaway back into the game. Somebody that has a uh, great understanding in a basketball family. Reckaway's father, of course, the, uh, the men's coach out at Northwood University. Great pass inside, and as a result, Critz will go to the free throw line. But Reckaway is one of those players that hasn't even began to reach her potential. No, I mean, uh, she, she's shown flashes once in a while. She's hit some out, good outside shots, and... Uh, but uh, boy, she's got a future ahead of her. Uh, it's just a matter that she's, she's got to continue to gain that confidence. I know she hears an awful lot of basketball over the dinner table uh, with her dad, but uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's gonna be a good one. Alyssa Critz hits both of her free throws for the Kimmix. Maisie Taylor loses the handle on the ball. That doesn't happen very often. Olivia Carpenter looks to go coast to coast. Can't get the shot to go. Wanted the foul, didn't get that drawn either. Now three-point shot by Phillips, count it. Jordan Phillips with a three-pointer, and Jaden Globes is going to call her his second timeout of the contest for the Chemex pulling within eight with 6.53 to go here in the second quarter. And Phillips has eight points. Great uh, start for her. She's really looking good tonight. Again, a look inside the Midland High huddle. This game on MPS TV, produced by MCTV staff and volunteers. If you want to know when the game is going to air, you can check out the listings in the Sunday section of the Midland Daily News website. You can also go to the Midland Public Schools website and follow the link to the MPS TV page. You can also uh, find this game on YouTube in high definition for your viewing. You can take it with you. You can, you can watch it right on your phone while you're uh, you know, while you're waiting for uh, the bus to come, Tom. And you could also uh, ch check to find out when the game is on and drive over here. <laughs> I don't know if you'd want to do that. that. That may not work out. Well, you couldn't do it from home. Right. Yeah, yeah. but you could actually see the game in person, which on is... On a tape delayed basis. I don't, I don't know how that works, Tom. Oh, I, I mean, actually have someone get here, not, not, not watch it on TV actually be here they're gonna go back like time lifts they're gonna go back in time and then they can be here and watch the game that that, that, is, that is that is great get into a time uh, that, that's awesome <laughs> that is, that is, are you bailing me out see, I, I, didn't, I didn't think of that option <laughs> to be honest where, i didn't either where's where rufus when you need him fire up the time machine <laughs> jada gardner hits a bucket okay. for the dow high chargers back to a 10 point lead for dow high six and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. But th there's no substitute for actually being here at Th the that, game. That's the point you're trying that to make? That was my point, okay. yes. That was my point. All right. You smell the popcorn, you got the pep band. Where'd the pep band go? <laughs> they're, on, they're on break. <laughs> you don't have the pep band, okay. <laughs> Another turnover by the Quebec Chargers <laughs> looking to go back. Oh, nice defense there. Nice hustle by Alyssa Critz. Taking the ball away from the Chargers. Now Olivia Carpenter takes a couple of dribbles. Jordan Phillips with the ball for Midland High. Phillips switching directions into the paint, forces a shot up. Didn't get the bucket to fall. Rebound by the Dow High Chargers. Gardner feeding to Molly Davis back to Gardner. They didn't get the bucket, but what a beautiful sequence that would have been. That would have been a great assist. The ball just didn't nestle into the net. 10-point Dow High lead. This is the Saginaw Valley contest between the two teams. Carpenter's picked up her dribble and finds Alyssa Critz. Critz takes a couple of dribbles. Again, switches directions. Goes out to Maddie Lang. Lang will go back to Carpenter. Chargers playing tough defense, not allowing the Kimmicks to penetrate, forcing Midland to stay on the perimeter. Now Carpenter does go inside, and she will draw the foul. Jaden Klobes liked that decision by Carpenter. 
Well, we talked about Midland uh, driving to the basket, uh, trying to create a little more offense. That's kind of what we're seeing right now. Carpenter was the top scorer on the junior varsity team a year ago. She sinks the free throw. Very interesting look at where Carpenter stands on the free throw line. If you take a look at uh, Globes talking to Emma Reckaway, she does not stand in the middle. She's actually about a step to the left of the basket. She is. That's unusual. Maybe that just makes her feel more comfortable releasing it with her right hand. One of two from the free throw line, but Critch will bring down the rebound. Goes to Reckaway in the middle, and Reckaway forces the foul by Alexa Cole who returned the game. Good rebound, and then a good, good offensive possession will end up sending, well, actually they're gonna call it on the floor, so Midland will have the ball out of bounds as Dowhai brings Karis Query back into the game. Just over five minutes to go in the second quarter. Kimmicks and the Chargers, the second meeting between these two teams. And there is a good chance that these two teams will be meeting Actually, these two teams will meet in the postseason. Midland High counts the bucket for a wreckaway. The sophomore gets on the board. These two teams will meet in the opening round of the districts, which will be played in March in Bay City Western. Molly Davis, three-pointer, count the bucket. She had pressure, but that's not going to face Davis. No, and she had real good rotation on that and, uh, and hit no rim, actually, just nice and uh, clean. Reckaway, back-to-back -back buckets for the sophomore. Okay, nobody told Midland that this game was going to be close. I think. <laughs> and right now, Midland is, is playing really well. Driving inside, trying to pressure her up, and Eufer five to her advantage was query. That didn't happen. Now they go inside to Garner. Ball knocked away, but now High will recover. Taylor goes back inside to Query, and Query will draw the foul. Karis Query, she's a senior on this Dow High Charger team, one of three seniors along with Davis and Taylor. Comes off the bench, a strong rebounder, but we saw a great job driving to the basket yeah. there. But she does not get the uh, friendly bounce on the first free throw. Well, Midland just doesn't seem as scared now. They seem kind of relaxed. They've had some shots fall. And Dow uh, needs to get their, uh, their act together here. Well, if you're Midland High, you've got everything to gain and absolutely nothing to lose. Some strong defense uh, being played yeah. by Cole Nidus. You know, rather Midland wins by, or whether Midland wins or loses, or rather they you know lose by 10 points or lose by 40 points, I don't think that makes a difference. So you can go all out if you're Midland yeah. High, you've got nothing to lose. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Midland High has had several close games and as the Kimmicks take a shot there by Maddie Lang, Jada Gardner will come back the other way for the Dow High Chargers. Now to Molly Davis, three point shot, count it. Back to back three pointer by Molly Davis. I believe she's in double digits now with 10. Three-point shot taken, count it. Alyssa Critz, the junior, fires through with a three-pointer. Eight-point game, just over three minutes to go. Cole Knight has thought about the three. Now they go baseline to Query. Query tries to go to Garner. Nice defense there by Critz. Coming away with the steal, and we're going to have a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to uh, favor the Dow High Chargers. 3.06 to go here in the second quarter. Eight-point Dow High lead. Shada Gardner working with the basketball. Now Davis being double teamed, but Davis keeps the dribble alive, finds Macy Taylor. Taylor cross court to Cole Nidus, who's open, but the three-pointer is no good. Critch will get the rebound for Midland. Kimmicks working out of Jordan Phillips. Long three-pointer by Phillips. Does not go. Rebound by Reckaway. That put back is good. The Kimmicks have cut the deficit down to six, and Kyle Tyson says it's time for a timeout. Yeah, I think he's upset uh, with their passing. I think that uh, Dow uh, is, is allowing Midland to get a hand 
into the passing lanes, and uh, they're just not playing very hard all of a sudden. And that's what, you know, Kyle Tyson, uh, you know, we talked about Midland High with nothing to uh, to, to lose in this game. Yeah. The Dow High Chargers, you know, they're expected to win this game. They're, they're a big favorite for this contest, but they yeah. also have a couple of big games coming up if you're the Dow High Chargers. You've got Saginaw Heritage if you're as an opponent in the very near future. Are you looking past Midland? And is that what Kyle Tyson is kind of uh, reminding them of? We've got to win this game before we worry about anything else. You would hope not because this is a crosstown rival, but uh, you just don't know what go goes through their heads. You can tell them a lot, but uh, you've got to have them buy into it. Monty Davis way downtown, top of the key with a three-pointer for Molly Davis. And she has, uh, well, two minutes to go. We'll... Uh, We'll talk about uh, achievement of Molly Davis here in the uh, when we hit halftime. Goes into the paint, a nice drive, but Maddie Lang unable to get the bucket to fall through. And I'm told Davis now has 13. Maddie Lang will be on the free throw line. Okay, and this is Maddie uh, for her second shot here. And that's, uh, it falls in. It eventually it's dropped. The friendly bounce, two minutes to go here in the second half. 31 to 23 in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Macy Taylor working with the basketball now. Taylor goes in the paint, works it back out to Cole Nidus, who feeds back to Taylor. Three-point shot, that one is off the mark. Gardner with a nice job saving the ball for the Dow High Charger. Feed it inside, but knocked away. Nice defense. Alyssa Critch has played great defense the last three or four minutes of this game. Yeah, she does an awful lot of good things out on the court that uh, uh, sometimes you just don't, don't see them enough or pay that close of attention, but uh, she just doesn't leave the court very often. Critch with a nice bounce pass, feed it inside. Rockaway could have went up with that shot, decides against it. Just over a minute to go here in the second quarter. Midland High trying to find out where to go, and Olivia Carpenter double dribbles. Again, the charger for that strong defense as Dow High will bring Caitlin Murray back into the game. There's so many different charger players that have so many weapons, both offensively and defensively, that Kyle Tyson just has option after option of who to put on the floor. Yeah, and he wants his girls to be disciplined and make sure that uh, they'll step in if Midland screens and uh, just on, on the defensive side, they've just got to play tougher because Dow's or, uh, heritage is going to give them lots of difficult opportunities. Taylor's been off on back-to-back -back three pointers. 40 seconds to go. Oh, that's the uh, kind of juking somebody out of their shoes right there as uh, Taylor did so to Maddie Lang. Jaden Globes believing that uh, there could have been a uh, an offensive foul call, did not get the call. Now Molly Davis, three-pointer from the baseline is no good. Rebound by the Midland High Chemex. 30 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Carpenter with the basketball. Clock down at 20. Carpenter goes into the paint, feeds it out. Now they work it back to Critz at the top of the key. 15 seconds to go inside to Phillips. Phillips being guarded by Garner had no place to go. Clock down to 10. Phillips. Twisting back, goes to Critch. Critch into the paint, forces the shot up, and will get the foul. Gonna get the bucket, but will have a chance to go to the free throw line. Well, it looks like Midland is having some fun with, with their offense, and they're, they're getting some drives to the basket. Uh, Dow just has to uh, get cut off the drives and just not foul. Alyssa Critz on the free throw line, gets the free throw to go. Critz is one of those players, she's a junior, she's a good rebounder, she's a good scorer. She's also one of those players that's very coachable. Yes, she, she is. Uh, and she's not that loud, rah-rah kind of a player. She kind of leads by example. 
One of two on the free throw line. Final seconds of the second quarter. Macy Taylor loses the dribble. Critch knocks that ball away. Taylor will not get the shot off in time. And we reach halftime with a game time that may be a little bit closer than what we anticipated with uh, Dow High leading 31 to 24. And I think this is a, a combination of the situation where uh, Mid Mid Midland High is, is playing uh, where they, as you had said earlier, with nothing to lose. And Dow may have come in with a little bit overconfident. So we have reached halftime here at Dow High. We're going to take a quick timeout. When we come back, we will uh, recap the first half, and we'll also get ready for what could be an exciting second quarter, a great first half of basketball. We'll see what happens in the uh, final uh, 16 minutes of this Saginaw Valley contest. At the half, the Dow High Chargers on top of Midland High, 31-24. to You're watching high school basketball on MPS-TV. The MCTV Network helps Midland residents share their story with the community. Our media producer workshops will help you get started. In one short session, you will learn how to create media that will educate, entertain, and enrich the community in which we live. Get registered for a workshop by calling 837-3474, follow us on Facebook for more information, and search for MCTV Community Voices on YouTube and your podcast platform for more local stories. Join us to build a better community through media at MCTV. We are back at H.H. Dow High School as right, the one. Saginaw Valley Contest Girls Basketball on MPS TV. We are at halftime. The Dow High Chargers on top of the Midland High Chemics by seven in a uh, first half that may have been a little bit closer than what a lot of people expected. Jason Harper alongside Tom Bell and, uh, you know, Tom, the Midland High Chemics playing a great first half. Dow High Chargers playing a very solid first half as well. And, of course, uh, Molly Davis playing her usual excellent style of basketball. The future Chippewa was recognized before the game for reaching the 1,000-point milestone at a game against Saginaw Arthur Hill, but she also has reached another milestone during this contest. Uh, Molly Davis has got 13 points, which has now tied her for fifth place on Dow High's all-time scoring list. Uh, and uh, Allison St. Ahmad is the player that has tied with Molly Davis so right now, Jody Ostergren, Ellie Taylor, Brad Frolic, Becca Mills. There's some pretty good basketball players on that list. Yes, and I've had the pleasure of seeing just about, I have seen all of them play. Okay. And uh, Mo Molly's obviously in that group. Uh, some really good, solid basketball players in that group. Currently tied for uh, fifth, but I'm pretty sure Davis will score at least one more point sometime during the uh, second half of basketball to uh, get fifth place uh, all by her own. But yeah, Molly Davis, she puts up the points when she uh, when she needs to. She passes when when she can. This is a Dow High team between uh, Davis and Taylor and Gardner and the and the players that step up like Olnitis is tonight and Murray is tonight and Kepner is. This is a Dow High Charger team that just keeps going and keeps going and just interchange the parts but they doesn't stop the machine yeah and molly's to a, a level where she has nothing more to prove except she wants to lead her team to victory and they know that in order for them to be successful she has to score but uh, she she's not show offy she's just very businesslike the layups the passing the outside shots she's not hot doggish come going down the uh the court and swinging her arms around saying, look at what I did. Nothing like that. Uh, she's a pleasure to watch. The Midland High Kimmicks had a great second quarter. Jaden Klobes looking and hoping that the Midland High Kimmicks can continue in the third quarter where they left off just before halftime. A look at the halftime stats. Uh, the Dow High Chargers led by Molly Davis, 13 points and two assists. Kepner coming off the bench with four points for Dow High. Jada Gardner, two points, but she also has four rebounds for the Dow High Chargers. All together, six turnovers for Dow, 12 rebounds. They are two of four on the free throw line. 
Midland High led by Jordan Phillips, 8 points, 3 rebounds in the first half. Alyssa Critch, 6 points, 4 rebounds. And Emma Reckaway, 6 points and 2 rebounds. Only 8 turnovers for the uh, Midland High Chemex. They're 5 of 8 from the free throw line. All in all, a pretty fun uh, first half of basketball. Only a 7-point difference between these two teams as the third quarter is underway here on MPS TV. And a scramble for the ball. The Chargers will come away with it. Cole Nidus dishes to Macy Taylor. Three-pointer is no good. And the ball goes out of bounds. It will be Midland High basketball. Doesn't happen very often, Tom, but I dare say that uh, Macy Taylor may be having an off night when it comes to shooting. Well, she's had a couple of long shots go uh, quite a ways uh, off target, but uh, her, her value is defensive pressure and, and making sure her, the ball gets distributed to her teammates on, on offense. Scoring is kind of secondary, but she's been picking it up you know, lately, but maybe not so much tonight yet. Reckaway goes into the paint, didn't get the foul drawn, and the Dow High Chargers will come back the other direction. Feeds it to Jada Gardner, and a nice block, Alyssa Kretz coming in. Great defense played by Kretz, blocking that ball. Dow High will keep possession, but strong defense. That looked like fun <laughs> on the defensive side. Davis tried to go inside, but with pressure on Davis, she kind of Swung that towards the middle, and it went out of bounds. Yeah, maybe a little offline to, to Kepner. Seven-point advantage for the Dow High Chargers. The first game, the differential at the final was 37 points. Tonight, it's been a different story here in the first half. Kretz going to the paint. Feeds it out. She'll get it back. Olivia Carpenter... Now working with the basketball for Midland High. Carpenter dribbles into the paint, dishes at the last second. Schaefer, she hasn't scored yet. Of course, Schaefer battling an injury, and we're going to have a foul called on Carpenter. Sydney Schaefer for the Midland High gimmick spent uh, most of the first half of the season out with an injury. As we mentioned, she is uh, you know, playing now, and she started tonight, but still limited. She is not 100%. Yeah, and I'm sure she's got it well wrapped uh, still, just uh, for peace of mind, but you're not going to be 100% for a while. Nice pass inside, but again, nice defense underneath as the Chargers' Alyssa Kepner tried to force it up, but the Chemex playing strong underneath. Yeah, with uh, Mid Midland, they're playing with a lot more confidence, and uh, Dow has just got to get, get their offense uh, uh, clicking again. And neither offense has clicked in the first two minutes of the third quarter. We're still at our halftime score. Way downtown for Jody Phillips is off the base, and Jada Gardner will get the rebound. Gardner, a strong rebounder for this Dow High Charger team. Three-pointer in and out for Dow High's Cole Nidus, and the ball goes out of bounds. It will be Midland High basketball. So both teams, Tom, struggling here in, uh, in the third quarter. Yeah, uh, nobody scored yet. Uh, I think uh, I think they uh, uh, found a little bit of uh, the, the defensive uh, key to trying to slow the other one down. But uh, uh, Dow is such a good offensive team. Uh, they, they should be able to find their stride here pretty quickly. Nice pass inside, but Phillips can't get the bucket to fall. Good pass, but no points to show for it on that possession for Midland High. Jada Gardner, three-pointer. That is off the mark. It's going to be saved by Macy Taylor, but it goes into the hands of Reckaway briefly. The battle for the ball. Midland High will come away with it. Bounce pass inside just a half a second too late, and the Chargers come back the other direction. Cole Nidus thought about the three. Now Gardner. She goes into the paint. Gardner puts up the shot, but won't get it to fall, but she will get the foul, and Jada Gardner will go to the free throw line. Did she get fouled after the shot or yeah. during? Well, according to the uh, officials, it's it was during, during and Gardner okay. will be on the free throw line. It looked like the shot was clean, and then she was on the on the floor, but uh, okay. Now the scoring drought continues, and Dow High will bring Karis Query into the game.
Second shot from Gardner. That one falls through. First point of the second half comes on a free throw. Dow High leads by eight, 440 to play in the third quarter. Alyssa Kritz working the basketball for Midland High. Takes a couple of dribbles. Now Olivia Carpenter working the ball for Midland. No real pressure. She'll throw across to Schaefer. Schaefer goes baseline, and she'll go to the free throw line. And there's the advantage of being left-handed. I mean, she was driving, and I'm sure that split second on the defensive side says, I've got her, she can't score. And then she goes up with her very dominant left hand. The foul on Query is her fourth foul for the first player to get into foul trouble is Karis Query. She'll have to head to the bench. Dow High will bring Haley Jaster into the game for the first time. Jaster is a junior. She's a player for the Chargers that has been battling an injury. You see the uh, the right leg of Jaster and the uh, very long knee brace that Jaster is wearing. Well, she's about 6'1 and uh, needs a long knee brace. <laughs> Driving in, the bucket and the foul. Molly Davis will have a chance for a three-point play. And that basket by Davis has put her into fifth place in the all-time scoring list all by herself. And a shot like that with just the soft kiss off the glass, you know that that's something she's practiced for years. It's just so natural to her. And she gets the free throw to go. Davis is averaging 18 points a game. She's got 16 now for the Dow High Chargers. An official's timeout because Midland High had a sub waiting, but was not, uh, the horn didn't buzz like it should have. And so the officials stopping the play. Now Maddie Lang is officially into the game for Midland. 10 point lead for the Dow High Chargers halfway through the third quarter of this Saginaw Valley contest. Kimmick played a great second quarter, but they have not scored here in the third. No, they scored, they scored one basket, or one point. Yeah, one point. On the... Olivia Carpenter drives in, but dishes, and the shot taken by Maddie Lang is no good. The ball goes out of bounds. Could have went up for that. Yeah. <laughs> Just a different style of basketball town. Yeah. The, the game has evolved through the years. A lot more, it's, you know, kicking that ball out, going for the, the jump shot or the three-pointer instead yeah. of, uh, you know, driving in, which is a style of basketball that I prefer, but it's kind of, uh, you know, you'll see less and less of here in uh, 2019. Yeah, well, you know, we, you know, when we played, I know when I played, you know, we didn't have the advantage. Nice defense of, by Carpenter of the the, the, the three-point shot, you know. So being shooting from the outside was not always a great benefit. You wanted they, uh, to get down underneath for the three-point shot. They still uh, they still use the wicker baskets when you were playing. Yeah, they had to kick. They had to cut it around. You know, they figured that uh, uh, that might be the best way to retrieve the ball, but. And then all the jump balls, I, that was a bore. <laughs> that, that is true. They, they jumped it up every time there was a jump. At, they they at, were still doing that when I played basketball. So After every basket, wasn't it a jump? <laughs> yeah. Olivia Carpenter drives in. She will draw the foul, so Carpenter will go to the free throw line. You know, they used to have the uh, the pin setters that people had as a first job. You'll sit at the bowling alley and reset the pins. Your first job was taking the basket out of the wicker basket to uh, to keep play going. Yeah, and uh, try, trying to keep people warm because uh, we, we played outside. <laughs> Carpenter able to get the free throw to fall through for Midland High. Then the joke, uh, you know, you hit the long shot, you got to play the wind, you know. Second shot is good as well. Carpenter, two of two on the free throw line. 2.40 to go here in the third quarter. Dow High 35, Midland High 27. This is the conference game when it comes to the Saginaw Valley standings for these two teams. In fact, both teams right now are undefeated So, if uh, in the Saginaw Valley. So if you want to look at, uh, you know, some... Uh, 
how you can uh, twist some stats. You can yep. twist it and say that, you know, this is a battle of unbeatens in the Valley. But, you know, we've, we've talked about in both broadcasts how, how uh, Midland High will be coming, that they've got uh, some good talent. It's just young and it's learning. Um, right now, maybe this is kind of the early stages of their education. Yeah, a lapse on defense there left Haley, ja Haley Jaster all by herself underneath, and Jaster able to score the uh, bucket. Chargers back to a 10-point lead. Well, the Chemics waiting for that game where they turned the corner. They picked up a win in their last game against Saginaw, but it was a game that still had that roller coaster feel and was not a decisive victory by any means. And a turnover here. Kyle Tyson's going to call a timeout. If you're Kyle Tyson right now, this may be the time that you put the pedal to the metal. This might be the point of the game where you go to Molly Davis, where you go to Maisie Taylor. This may be the point where you try to get like five or six basket or five or six points, three or four baskets. Just go, go, uh, you know, pedal to the metal right now and increase your 10 point lead. Well, I don't see the intensity in Dow tonight. Uh, I think that uh, uh, with Dow playing Heritage uh, next Tuesday, uh, I think that he's going to want to finish this game with a flurry. You know, that I, I don't want to see, you know, I'm sure he doesn't want to see this game uh, be kind of a uh, mediocre intensity, win by a few buckets and so on, then jump in to be playing Heritage uh, at, at a high speed on Tuesday. So. Well, both teams uh, concluding their timeout talk. Dow High on the floor, yeah. ready to go. Midland High breaking huddle. And, you know, we mentioned, you know, maybe a point where the Chargers want to put some pressure on Midland High, but this may be a point where the timeout by Dow High may have benefited Midland High. It could have. You know, uh, Mid Midland has not been uh, subbing as freely as Dow. And so some of their players now, as the game gets a little bit older, uh, get, can use that extra breather. Chargers working to Macy Taylor. Now goes Jada Garner. Garner feeds it back out to Cole Nidus. Cole Nidus drives in and will go back out to Taylor. Good defense by Midland High, not allowing the Chargers to penetrate. Cole Nidus says, that's okay. I'll drop a three from the top of the key. Alexa Cole Nidus. She's had a pretty good game for the Chargers. She has. I mean, uh, she was uh, everything at the beginning of the game and uh, uh, still playing hard, but uh, that, that was a nice three-pointer. Phillips inside will get the bucket and the foul, and Jordan Phillips will have a chance for a three-point play. And the Chargers are going to bring Abby Ray into the game. Ray came off the bench in the first half and gave a couple of good minutes to Kyle Tyson. Phillips completes the three-point play, and we've kind of went back and forth between, uh, you know, the a double-digit lead, single-digit. Now we're back to a, a 10-point lead. A minute to go here in the third quarter. Macy Taylor works the ball around. Cole Knight is open briefly, chooses not to shoot the shot. Now Macy Taylor with the ball. Taylor, couple of dribbles, she'll shoot the three-pointer, count it. May have needed that one to get that confidence back up. Maisie Taylor hits the three-pointer, 13-point lead for the Chargers. 35 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Well, sometimes the shot just takes a little more leg and less back. Jada Gardner with nice defense, stealing away that pass by Midland High. Clock down to 25, Garner goes to Taylor. Taylor in the paint, tried to feed it back to Garner, but instead, Emma Reckaway will come away with the steal. Chemics have got time, they've got 15 seconds on the clock. Carpenter with the basketball. Carpenter driving in, clock down to 10. Jordan Phillips travels. This gives seven seconds for the Chargers to work, and seven seconds is a lot of time Often in high school basketball, you will see teams rush that shot at the buzzer, but you've still got time. Clock down to three. Maisie Taylor, she's not going to rush. She knows exactly how long it takes. Great time management yep. by Maisie Taylor. She had seven seconds. She knew it. 
and she was able, instead of settling for a three-pointer or a mid-court shot that you see so often, she knew that she had plenty of time to drive into the paint, and Taylor got a bucket, and the Chargers have a 15-point lead. And I think Molly knew that Maisie was going to do that, too. I was expecting Molly to set up on the wing and Maisie to kick it out for the three, and Molly just stopped and watched her and just knew what, what she's capable of doing. So a 15-point lead for the Dow High Chargers here at the end of the third quarter. You're watching high school basketball on MTS TV. If you want to see all the different ways that you can share your story through MCTV, come on down to the studio, take the training, give us a call because it's not just television anymore. You can create a TV show, put your videos on YouTube, promote your programs on social media. You can even do an audio podcast and reach a whole new audience uh, worldwide. To learn more, call MCTV at 837-3474. And again, the, the training taking place on the first Wednesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays of most months. For more information, call 837-3474. You can go online to the website. You can check us out on Facebook. Or you can just uh, you know walk in and uh, say hey to Sherry in the studio and uh, visit MCTV in person and get all the details that you want to become a volunteer here at MCTV. Fourth quarter off and running. The Dow High Chargers with the basketball. Molly Davis working the ball over to Jada Garner. Garner takes a couple of dribbles. Feeds it to Cole Nidus who dishes back out to Gardner. Chargers, three-pointer, baseline, count it. You work the ball around the perimeter until you find somebody that is feeling it, and Abby Ray was feeling it there for the Dow High Chargers as she hits the three. Well, that, that was a nice shot. I thought Jada Gar Gardner had a really good shot from the free throw line and, and passed it up. But, uh, yep, maybe their coach is talking about go, making that extra pass to getting the girl uh, who's just a little more open. Caitlin Murray checks back in. Chargers have their biggest lead of the game, an 18-point lead here early in the fourth quarter. Kimmich, after having a great second quarter, only scored six points in the third quarter. Midland with the basketball, Olivia Carpenter. She needs to find somebody to go to in a hurry. As her, the uh, five-second call was close to being called. Carpenter goes back to Reckaway this time, now feeds it over to Jordan Phillips. Phillips had the ball knocked away by Gardner. Now she picked up her dribble. Midland's got to find somebody. Phillips has got to pass the ball, and Jaden Klobes is going to bail out Phillips by calling a timeout. Yeah, they were getting further and further away from the basket as they were trying to do their uh, their, their, their pass and uh, cut. But, uh, yeah, they had to burn a timeout. 6.44 to go in the fourth quarter. Let's take a look at some stats, courtesy of Jeff Yoder, who's providing stats for us here tonight, Dow High's Molly Davis, 16 points, two assists in the game. Maisie Taylor, seven points and three rebounds. For Midland High, Jordan Phillips, the leading scorer, 11 points and four rebounds for Phillips. Alyssa Critz, six points, five rebounds, and a block shot as well for Critz. Kyle Tyson, the Dow High Charger coach, giving the X's and O's. And there's a look at the student section for the uh, Dow High Chargers, relatively uh, quiet at the present moment. Well, you know, the game is not, they're not on pins and needles as far as the outcome of the game. Uh, I think a lot of people are quite surprised that this game is, was as close as it was. It's starting to spread a little bit now, but uh, that's kind of been what's happened with Midland is that they've stayed close to people and then they fade towards the end of the game. That's been kind of what they do against the, the top uh, opponents. And the, uh, that pattern may be holding true here tonight. Olivia Carpenter is going to draw the foul. He'll be on the floor. The fourth foul, each team with four fouls. Neither team got into foul trouble in the first half. Only one player is in foul trouble, and that is Query. Everybody else is uh, in relatively uh, safe conditioning. Olivia Carpenter, three-pointer. May have woke up Midland a little bit. Dow high, couple of dribbles by Gardner. 
Feeds it out over to Murray. Murray answers the call. So many weapons on this Dow High Charger team. How many different Charger players have hit a three-pointer tonight? They have just been, rather it's, you know, five wow. different players wow. can hit the three-pointer. That's, uh, that's something that Kyle Tyson's got to be pleased with. Carpenter with the ball for Millen. Jada Garner playing great defense. She has this entire game. Jordan Phillips picks up her dribble, goes inside to Alyssa Critz, baseline, and Critz will uh, kick it off yeah. of Dow High's a Abby Ray. Chargers, I think, have picked up their defense a little bit here in the second half. They're guarding Midland a little bit closer and not allowing Midland any kind of a chance to run their offense. I would not doubt that Kyle Tyson had challenged them at halftime. Carpenter goes back to Phillips. Just look at the movement defensively for the Dow High Chargers, and we're going to have a carry for a turnover. Just an observation, but have you noticed that when they run their offense, they're always on the right side? Well, I have not noticed that, but I'm sure many a coach may have picked up on, on that particular thing. Carpenter into the paint, and we're going to have a travel call. I mean, teams generally are right-handed because most of their players are right-handed, but you really want to be able to swing the ball around to the left-hand side and attack that side, too. So back-to-back -back turnovers. Alexa Colnitis has checked back into the game for Dow High. 51 to 33, five minutes to go in this Saginaw Valley contest. That doesn't happen very often, but uh, Davis called for a travel. Yeah, and she probably did. I, it looked like she had stepped back before she had uh, released the ball. That, you know, every so often, she's human. She's human. <laughs> Jada Gardner, great defense. Gardner with the steal, lay it in. Gardner's been playing great defense, rewarded there, the steal in the bucket. The biggest lead Dow has had is a 20-point difference with 4.40 to go in this contest. Jump shot taken by Midland. That will cut into the that deficit. Maddie Lang, Maddie the Lang. junior, hitting the bucket for Midland High. Gardner into the paint, but she'll dribble back out. Ray thought about it. Cole Nidus on the baseline. She's being double teamed. Nice feed pass to Ray, who looks to slip it behind. The reverse layup is no good. The rebound, the putback is no good by Murray. And the Chargers will work back out. Just, I'm impressed by all the different weapons. Jada Gardner, no good on the three-pointer, but a great rebound by Abby Ray. Ray and Cole Nidus are both freshmen on the floor right now for the Chargers. You wouldn't know it by watching this game. They seem very comfortable with their teammates. The offense smooth as silk for the Dow High Chargers. Three-pointer by Murray counted. That is great offense. You work it around, yep. you work it in, you work it out, and then finally Murray says, okay, I'll, I'll take the three-pointer. In a word, unselfish. Three and a half minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Alyssa Kritz with the ball for Midland. No, goes to Olivia Carpenter, goes baseline. Carpenter will be uh, bailed out. Abby Ray will be called for the foul. Yeah, I don't think she really had much of a lane, but uh, she also didn't have any open teammates to drop the ball to. So had to hope for the best. Yeah, Kyle she Tyson is uh, letting the official know in a friendly conversation that, and that may have been a little bit of a bailout. Olivia Carpenter able to get the free throw to fall. Gives the uh, Midland High student section something to make noise about. Great to see the, uh, the fans from both schools here tonight. And the fact that you've got a Midland High team with only two wins, and you've got a, a fairly good sized student section cheering on Midland High. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've got them up in the balcony. Uh, we've got quite a few here, and Midland High is well represented. Good defense there by Alyssa Critz. She's played great defense. We talked about Jada Gardner getting the uh, defense MVP for Dow, but Alyssa Critz may be getting that award for Midland High. Yeah, she's. Uh, She's so valuable, I don't recall that she's left the court tonight. 
I don't think she has. Dow High 56, Midland High 36. Just over three minutes to go. Molly Davis. You give Davis an open lane, she will say, okie dokie. <laughs> Davis will play at Central Michigan. She's also a Miss Basketball candidate this year. One of the best in the state. She'll get a lot of points in that nice voting. Nice move by Emma Reckaway going into the paint. Reckaway is just a sophomore, so not exactly sure what her future holds for basketball, but she definitely has you know, a lot of uh, talent, a lot of potential that she's just beginning to showcase her ability as a varsity basketball player. Well, and she's always been good playing against kids her age. Right now, she's competing against kids two, two years older than she is. Macy Taylor all by herself, and she will put the three-pointer down. Taylor's gonna go to Northwood. She'll join older sister Ellie as a Timberwolf next year. Two minutes to go. In this Saginaw Valley contest, Alyssa Critch picking up the dribble, working it back out for Midland High. Carpenter now the ball, loses the handle on it, didn't get uh, any whistle, and the Chargers will have a turnover as all kind of bodies down, go down the floor. Power play for the Chargers. Maisie Taylor says, okay. Back-to-back -back three pointers by Taylor, and the Chargers beginning to pull away with 90 seconds to play. These two teams will meet in the opening round of the districts, which will be held at Bay City Western in March. Of course, the season flip-flopped this year, so the boys will begin their districts a week before the girls do. The boys' finals will be played at Michigan State a week before the girls will play their finals in March at Kelvin College. 64-38. In favor of Dow High, a minute to play. Molly Davis goes into the paint. Dishes it out to Cole Nidus. That three-pointer is no good. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Midland basketball. Well, I don't think the score is going to be indicative of how this game really flowed. I mean, at the end, Dow really kicked it up defensively, and they were hitting a lot of really good three-point shots. But Midland's played really much improved tonight. A tale of two halves, Midland High played a great first half of basketball. It was a seven-point game at halftime, but then the Chargers, uh, I think you mentioned it, uh, you know, Kyle Tyson, I think, probably challenged the Chargers at halftime to say, hey, let's pick it up, let's play Charger basketball. And uh, the second half, a different story. It's been Dow High basketball. I love that. Molly Davis could have went up with the basket, but she knows that there's absolutely no need to put another uh, bucket in, so she dribbled it out, and the Dow High Chargers are going to wear off the clock. Great. You, know, we me you mentioned, Tom, this Dow High Charger team so good, there's not a selfish player on this Dow High team. Right, and I think that all starts with their leaders, and it, it dwindles down. You know, that uh, there are no prima donnas on this team. Uh, the players with talent show their talent night after night. And the Dow High Chargers are going to celebrate a victory. They remain undefeated when it comes to the Saginaw Valley. The Dow High Chargers now 2-0 and in the Valley. Only one loss on this Dow High Charger team, but they do have a couple of tough games coming up, including Saginaw Heritage uh, around the corner. The Midland High Chemics, as we mentioned, uh, only two wins for Midland High, but they may have turned a corner in the first half of the game tonight, Tom. They looked, in the first half, especially in the second quarter, they looked good. Dow High's skills and talent kind of took over in the second half. And it's a place to start with your conversation at practice on what happens when you play together, play hard, and have a vision that you're going somewhere. Might not be this year, but most of these girls will be with Midland High's program for another couple of years. So the Dow High Chargers picking up the win here tonight over the Midland High Chemics. Tom, your uh, final thoughts on uh, this girls basketball contest. Well, it was really close, really entertaining, and at the end, 
Dow just had so so much talent that uh, they pulled away, and the score was not indicative of the entire game, but it did show how Dow is dominant in the Saginaw Valley. And the question is going to be how far can the Dow High Chargers go in the postseason, which will be you know a, a month and so away. For the Dow High Chargers, obviously Molly Davis had a big game, but I really like the play of Alexa Colnitis, so she is going to get my uh, MVP nod just because as a freshman, she started the game strong. When she was on the floor, she was giving it 100%. And she's not the kind of player that I think Midland High designed their defense to stop. They had two girls on Molly most of the night, so it gave her opportunities to maneuver and do a lot of really good things, and she did. Absolutely. Jada Gardner also had a great game defensively for Dow High. For the Midland High Chemics, Jordan Phillips played well. Olivia Carpenter played well. Uh, I really liked the play of uh, Emma Reckaway tonight, and defensively, Alyssa Critz was all over the place. Yeah, and um, they, they have to have Alyssa Critz on the court. Uh, I thought Phillips played really steady tonight, G gave them that outside shot that uh, they don't often have and uh, to get the ball in underneath. Final stats, Molly Davis finished in with 18 points, two rebounds, three assists. Macy Taylor had 13 points after a slow start. And Abby Ray, we didn't mention her, she came off the bench and Ray picked up eight points for the Chargers. For Midland High, Jordan Phillips, 11 points, four rebounds. Olivia Comforter, nine points. Alyssa Critt, six points. Emma Reckaway, eight points. The Dow High Chargers picking up the win in this Saginaw Valley battle. We thank you for watching high school basketball on MPS TV. The final score tonight, the Dow High Chargers 64, Midland High 38. For our entire crew and for Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. Good night from Dow High.